Hi everyone, today we're going to look at fractions with mixed operations. Let's have a look at this. We have a choice to do the addition or the multiplication. But remember from BOTMAS or BITMAS or BOMDAS that we have to do the times first. So let's put a bracket around that. So now we know that we're focusing on that. We look at the numbers and remember that when we multiply, we look for a number at the top and bottom that has common factors so we can cancel it and make our maths easier. So we notice that 14 and 7 have common factors. So we're going to cancel them out and think how many 7s fit in each of them. 7 fits in 14 twice, so we're going to write a little 2. And 7 fits into 7 once. So we can just leave it like that when it's 1. So now we just multiply across. So we multiply the 1 with the 2 to get 2 and the 1 with the 9 to get 9. So now we have the 5 plus 2 over 9. And it's better if you write it all together. When it's 5 plus 2 over 9, it's just 5 plus 2 ninths. Let's look at another example. So for this question, we have brackets, so we have to start with that. And in the bracket, we have addition. And with addition, we have to make sure that the denominators are the same because we want to add the same size pieces, but we don't have common denominators. So let's look for a lowest common denominator for three and four. Well, the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, whereas the common multiples of four are four, eight, 12. 12 is our lowest common denominator. Let's see how we get there. Three times what is 12? Well, three times four is 12. So whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. Four times what is 12? Four times three is 12. So whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. Now we can write our equivalent fractions like so. So two times four is eight, one times three is three. And we can now add the eight and the three together. Eight plus three is 11. So now we have 11 out of 12. And out of these two, we're going to do times before we do takeaway. And we notice that there is there a number at the top that can be simplified with a number at the bottom? Yes, six and 12. Six into six goes once, six into 12 goes twice. And now we can multiply across. One times 11 is 11, seven times two is 14. Now we have to subtract again. Let me move it over this side. When we subtract, we have to find the lowest common denominator between 14 and seven this time. So the multiples of seven are seven and 14. So the lowest common denominator is 14. So we're going to change the seven into 14 by multiplying it by two. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So three times two is six. So now we get 11 over 14 minus six over 14. So now we do the numerators. 11 minus 6 is 5. And that's our answer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to do the activity set. Bye.